Christ is the perfect way. And he faithfully guides his church by the means of the Spirit and the Word. He places the Spirit of God inside of us, who illumines the meaning of the Word of God to us, and empowers and impassions us to faithfully obey that Word in every detail. I know that you've recognized the evilness of your hearts. You've repented of your sin. You've ceased to trust in yourself and in your own works. And you've thrown yourself on the mercy of Jesus. You have placed your faith in Christ alone by your recognition of his deity and submission to his lordship. It is now your responsibility to see that your merit becomes an expression of Christ's redemption to one another, but also to the world. Father, we thank you for the truth of your word. I thank you again for marriage that you have ordained and the strength that you provide through your spirit. The truth that you give us in your word that will guide Ariel and Juan into a marriage that is pleasing to you. Lord, I thank you for their dedication to you, to one another, to the church, and their walking forward of obedience to your commands and, and attaching themselves and coming underneath the authority of the local church and the authority of you. Lord, I pray as we move to the vows, as we consider what it is to, to make this commitment for a lifetime, that you would oversee this by your grace and that you would give them strength and wisdom to accomplish these very things that they will pledge. Marriage is a picture of the church's belovedness in Christ. Husbands, love your wives as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. Jaquan, you are given the task of delighting and sacrificing yourself and your desires to provide care and provision for Aria. Holding her, helping her grow in conformity to the image of Christ, regardless of the cost and without any consideration of what you might receive in return. Ariel, I pledge to be your faithful husband. 
I will leave all others and cling to you. To be faithfully devoted to you for life. I want to honor you, serve you, care for you, and be with you for the rest of my life. Leaving all others, I will cleave to you and joyfully come under your God-given role as the leader of our home. Today I give you my love forever, a love built on the immutable character of God our Father, the sacrificial work of Christ our Lord, and the all-sufficient power of the Holy Spirit which dwells in us both. I will help you in building a home with Christ as the center of all things. I promise to lead you according to the truth of God's word. To submit to you and to encourage you as my earthly head. And I promise to be your king who rules over our home as a servant submitted to Christ's headship for your benefit. Married love is wonderful. Oh, how good it is to know the love of Christ, which is more powerful and more permanent still. May this kiss express your ongoing commitment to personal and marital purity the entire day of your marriage. You make us the Now, it is my pleasure to present to you for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Daquan Parker.